All right, now let's start a new Dynamo Next. This will be episode two. I'm a little bit behind this year. Um, been on a couple podcasts, and so I need to get caught up on on Dynamo Next here real quick. So uh, let's go through the tower generator. Uh, I don't think we've done that one yet. Uh, created a handy little package. Um, we can do a simple tower generator. We can do a um, little bit more advanced uh, tower generator if we want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this a little bit later this year. Um, so that when you hover over these, it, it tells you what input it's looking for. You know, there it's obviously looking for an integer value, and I'm looking for energy, integer values here. But let's go ahead and get started with uh, building a tower so we can visualize that data and, and go into um, Power BI background here and uh, see what's really going on in the building from a data standpoint. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to hard code a lot of this in. Um, all these can be uh, integer sliders, um, number sliders if you want. Um, once again, just going to put in some values here to cover my bases. I will use a uh, integer slider just to make this a little bit more live. I'm going to set something up, say between 8 floors and 15 floors. Call that my office floors and for those watching at home you you know you can always uh, go onto YouTube and hit the settings button and uh, run me at half speed if that's helpful or if you want to get a little faster you can run me at you know twice the clock speed okay Let's do this and another package I created called DLR group and it's just our standard stock color so we do have our warm red um, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually you know what I'm gonna do warm red for the commercial there we go instant building um, again from a conceptual level uh, it's been rotated a little bit we might put that on a 20 degree incline there we go it's just a little more fun um, now I'm gonna grab all this data that's popping out of here and I'm gonna stack it in a way that that Excel can read it and Power BI can read it so let's that seems reasonable uh, grab all the areas tour area for the building <clears throat> and then uh, you know originally I had called these north glass south glass east glass west glass but really if you change the orientation of the building any any of these exterior uh, facades could be north south east or west so uh, I just started calling them one two three four depending on orientation. Let's grab this. So number of elevators. I grabbed an extra total exterior. I don't want total exterior area. And I do want my structural slenderness ratio. I want to chop that out real quick. So I'll put this list into a chopping block here. And what that does is that separates all these values out as opposed to one line of, of code. Eh, it's just how I do things. Transpose that list. So instead of throwing this into Excel in a uh, column, it's going to throw it into a row, which is pretty handy. Let's grab file path. I'm not going to quite grab that yet. I know my sheet name is called Skyscraper. I'm going to go row 1, column 0. I'm going to go Excel, write to file. And technically, you could go right into um, a couple different data sources, but we're just going to go Excel for right now. Uh, looks like we're ready to hit. So if you notice Excel is not open right now, it's going to go ahead and find that for me once I put this data into it. <clears throat> After, of course, I give it the uh, file path. That's a little bit more helpful. There we go. So when found it for me, close handy dandy Dropbox here. 
gave me all my extra area values in a, in a category view by value. And it's set up to uh, essentially filter in all this, these uh, pivot table values here. So I'm going to pull that to the side real quick. Well, actually, you know what? If I can pull this to the side so we can actually see some of these values change. How small can I make Dynamo? So as I add some office floors here, you can see my building height is changing, my number of floors is changing all automatically. So we can really design and, and have conversations at the speed of thought. Um, and of course, all these other values are, are changeable too. Ideally, you would build this into a much simpler interface, but this is kind of the prototyping stage. So this is how it works. Um, and at any time we want to hit refresh, all these values change. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Um, and, and that's it. So let's go ahead and start to build this. Now that we have the Dynamo script, which of course you can find absolutely for free up on uh, Architect Machines. Uh, just go into the library, gives a little video demo. If you download this file, it's a zip file, all the Excel, all the Power BI, all the backgrounds, all the templates, and the Dynamo Studio file. It gives a little explanation about it. Um, of course, you're you're more than welcome to change it as, as you see fit and, and adapt it. Um, I've left a little corner open out here to plug in projected energy costs, projected water um, usage, things like that. So just a lot of fun, uh, useful things. Okay, so we aren't done with Dynamo, but I'm going to go ahead and minimize it uh, so we can start to build uh, this all over again. So included in that file is, of course, a background image called highway and really we just need to bring in um, our data source which is going to be that Excel file which I'll pull that off to the side real quick sky's the limit perfect bring it in which in this instance I'm going to go with this one and this one um, I've already imported it from the previous file, so let's just pretend I hit load here. Um, it is the same file because you saw me source it from the same area. And really, we're going to create these things one at a time. Um, let's start with, yeah, that's fine. Floor area ratio is fine. Now, if you notice, my background color is almost the same color as, as the... Uh, value here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this floor area ratio, custom, uh, custom figures, custom colors, uh, custom themes first. Uh, really, that's all I'm all I'm really looking for. Plus a plus maybe a border that I might spice it up a little bit, and that border needs to be a white color. So once I do that, it's kind of a little trick. So if and let me make one more modification here. So if I were to start over again with another card, throw in the number of floors, I'd have to start all over again, which isn't really a whole lot of fun. But if I hit Control C, Control V, and let's say number of floors, now I can just hit this and this. All my customizations stay the same. The, the boundary stays on. Everything's really nice and nice and handy and quick. Um, yeah, I mean, at, at that point, it's just Control-V, Control-C, uh, number of lifts, number of elevators. Perfect. Um, really, I think you, you get the idea from here on out. Um, a couple of these are just number cards. Uh, let's see here. Did I use a graph for this? I believe I did. So if I wanted to see, let's see here, skyscraper number of floors, commercial floors, and office floors. I want to see those stacked. So that's a, you see I've got a little sketch back here. And yes, I do sketch sometimes, occasionally. And if I pull this all the way up, get rid of a couple different titles. Legend, don't need that. Change the colors a little bit. Perfect. 
perfect. Don't need that title on either. That way I can shrink it a little bit. Pull it over, pull it over. Maybe throw one more thing on it just to turn data labels on. Perfect. Now I see the, the percentage balance of the building by floor type. So my four floors of, of commercial. This was really a happy accident that um, this sketch actually represents the number of floors. Um, I really wasn't expecting that, but it, it essentially does. Um, really, once you download the file, uh, you can kind of go from here. You don't really need me to, to watch me do this. Um, for the next five or six minutes. These are all pretty simple um, charts are just different abstracted views of, of each um, proportion here, so it's a different visualization. Um, pretty easy. Uh, take a look. Uh, let's see, that's it for this episode of Dynamo Next. I'm trying to keep them shorter uh, so that they aren't uh, an hour long, uh, something under 15 minutes, possibly under 10 minutes, for people to just zip through here, grab the stuff they need, learn a little bit, which, which I enjoy sharing, so uh, I hope you enjoyed learning. And that's it. We'll catch you next time. Take care.